Good morning guys. Today what we're going to be doing is that I'm going to be installing Ubuntu. A lot of you guys comment in the last post and a lot of you answer Ubuntu. So that's what we're going to be installing because you guys said it would be easier. It would be more stable. So I'm like, you know what? They're the experts. Let's do it. All right. So before you start saying, oh, this guy does not know what he's doing. I do not know what I'm doing. Actually, I am guilty, but Google knows what they're doing. I think, I think they know what they're doing. So we're going to Google it or YouTube it, and we're going to try to create a different partition, create a USB bootable device and run Ubuntu for it. So what I want to do is just dual boot Windows and Ubuntu, and hopefully we can get it working. I hope there's no stability issues or any sort of driver's failure or funky stuff. So let's try to do this. All right, so what I'm doing right now is that I'm actually waiting for my Ubuntu image ISO to copy on the USB. So now what I'm doing is that I'm going to be waiting for this to load the disk management part, then shrink the volume. And then I guess it's time to boot the PC from the USB and try to install Ubuntu. So I have the iPhone there because I'm going to be continuing the video from the iPhone. And I need to get another keyboard because this only connects once Windows loads and I need to access the BIOS. So I really have to go get a another keyboard so let's just get one all right so we've got ourselves a keyboard we use this bad boy so let's boot this right now there delete this one right here perfect so here we have it install ubuntu let's install that two thousand years later all right sorry for that guys so i just got back from school and Ubuntu is installed, it's running, and everything is completely fine. Drivers are installed, nothing funky. The graphics card seems to be doing fine, so I'm pretty happy about that. So the main reason as to why I decided to ditch my Mac was simply because it was there sitting doing nothing. Now, you might be wondering, why the hell was your Mac sitting there doing nothing? A couple of months ago, I decided to get a custom build in order to take care of all my editing workflow. As much as I hate Windows, I really needed the hardware and I also needed an operating system that is capable of handling Adobe products without having to spend an unreasonable amount of money on a Mac. But my biggest issue, guys, is that I'm actually giving up Mac OS. And the thing is that Mac OS is pretty darn good for development. Now, we all know how Macs are great for development and some of you might debate the fact that yes you can actually build a custom pc and make a hackintosh out of it but the issue is that a lot of drivers are not compatible so it makes a whole mess so i actually wanted to find a way to continue my development career with something close to mac os and that's actually where i got the idea to install ubuntu a few of you might be wondering how mac os and ubuntu are related well it turns out guys that mac os was actually built on a unix foundation now, Ubuntu is a free open source Linux distribution. Unix and Linux are practically the same thing. The only issue is that Unix is a copyrighted name that only a few companies are allowed to use. Linux is a Unix clone that was written from scratch by Linus Torvalds. All right, so why this whole Linux chit chat? Well, it turns out that 99.99% .99 of servers that will host your code are actually running on some sort of Linux distro. Meaning that when it's time to deploy your apps, manage servers, or do any other server related operations, it is much easier when you're working Linux with Linux. With Windows, things are completely different and it's a whole other framework behind the scenes. Now, when you start deploying apps with Windows into a Linux servers, things can get quite annoying, which causes development to fall back. I know there are development tools that come with Windows 10, but apparently even at that, it's not so great. And it's been causing a few mix and matches here and there with development, which just causes things to fall back. And it's just very annoying when you just want to get things done. The last thing you want to do guys is try to fix your OS because things are not deploying fine. You just want to code, maximize your time and make sure that everything's running properly. So just grab Linux and start to code on that. Now, there are a few reasons as to why Linux is better than Mac. For example, there's no such thing as hardware limitations when you're using Linux, unless your drivers are not available. So hardware limitations are practically non-existent, but you guys know as for Macs, you have to spend almost a kidney to start upgrading your hardware to get that 32 gigabytes of RAM, that two, three terabytes of memory, you know, things can get 
quite expensive on the Apple side. You guys might be saying, yeah, but you can actually build a Hackintosh. Again, guys, Hackintoshes are not stable at all. I've had friends that have built them. They are super unstable. Things are not running properly. Sometimes AirDrop doesn't work. The iCloud doesn't connect properly. And so it's just very, very unstable. Also, security is great with Linux. Linux users have lower automatic access rights, which makes it hard for a user to start spreading malware everywhere on a computer. It just has great ways in its architecture to prevent things from happening. It's not prone to viruses. You'll always have viruses on computer, but it's just really good at diminishing that risk anyways guys i could go for days on this topic although i really think that macbook pros are the best laptops that you can get nowadays but if you want to save money just get your hands on a linux machine i guarantee you guys will enjoy it either way nowadays a lot of the jobs that you guys are applying for require some sort of experience with a linux distro or Linux in general. With all this being said, guys, I'd like to wrap this video up and I will leave you with this thought. Should you replace macOS with Linux? Comment down in the comment section below, yes or no. I will be making more programming related videos in the future, so stay tuned for that. I like the channel to focus on development and a few tech videos here and there. I find that that way I am able to provide so much more value to you and to the channel. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you enjoy this type of videos, let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Andres Vidos and I'll see you guys later. Peace.